Hello, I'm Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV and today we're going to show you a pre-owned coach that I just took in on trade. One of the nice parts about being a Tiffin and a Newmar dealer is we're going to take in generally higher quality trades than somebody that only carries, we'll say, entry level brands. Well, here's a case here. Now this is a 2014 American tradition. This is the 42G floor plan. This is a big boy coach. This is uh, 42 feet long. 450 horsepower engine with 1250 foot pounds of torque um, and, and built on the American coach platform which is which has been a very very worthy competitor for many many years so let's get into this we'll talk about some things I like what they do some things I think some of our coaches do better but you cannot deny from one end to the other that this is a truly truly quality product built in Decatur Indiana by the way all right Come right up front here, I'm gonna have a seat in the cockpit. This is built on a Freightliner chassis with the Liberty Bridge Beam. Now, what that means is American Coach purchases what we call the front clip and the rear clip. So the, the front axle and frame and the rear axle and engine and transmission and frame, they purchase those two clips and it's about 20 feet long. Um, then they have it stretched and they put their bridge system down over it once they get the chassis the length they want. It gives them tremendous control for where they want slide rooms, how the weight is distributed, where their holding tanks are, this type of thing. Uh, I, I've been up to the factory. Uh, they used to do this in-house. Now they have somebody else do it for them. But when they did it in-house, I was up there when they were stretching the chassis. It was a very cool process um, and, and a truly quality chassis. It puts all the strength that this coach needs down be below the floor so you can do things like multiple slide outs and um, have your weight distributed properly and like I said, your holding tanks, uh, all, all of that. Truly a, a very strong, robust uh, chassis underneath us here. So Freightliner chassis, Liberty Bridge Beam, that's, that's our combination there. Now this pre-owned coach has 55,000 miles on it. it is is in immaculate condition. If you drove here to come see this, you would not be disappointed by it. Get this down so we can kind of get a shot of the gauges. I like the white face cluster there. I'll turn the key on just so we can see it cycle through its American coach stuff. There we go. And it should pop up our, our exact mileage here in just a second. There we go, 55707.8. Can't beat that. Now up front here, of course, we do have all power screens and everything, screens and shades. It took me a while to find those buttons. Uh, it had been a while since I sold American Coach and um, they, they moved some buttons around on me, but they hid these, these buttons actually right here in that drawer. I knew there had to be buttons up here somewhere, but I was driving myself nuts looking for them. Of course, we do have built-in nav on the bottom screen and then backup and um, side cameras here on uh, the top screen. Those side cameras are, of course, turn signal activated. Now, um, this also has a basic silver leaf system in it as well, which is controlled. Let me move this shade. It's controlled right over here to the driver's left. And that's just going to run us through some engine diagnostics and stuff like that that shows up on your backup camera screen. One nice thing this coach has that uh, most of the coaches we sell do not, not only does this have a hydraulic leveling system on it, it also has an air leveling system, which I like that quite a bit. That's a nice system. The advantage there being that you don't have to put the jacks down um, if you're on soft ground or really if you're anywhere. You can level this with the air system. There's a separate little compressor that keeps air, uh, enough air in the bags to uh, um, keep the coach level with just the bags. So that's a, that's a pretty slick setup. We do have adjustable pedals. We can dump the air out of the tag axle. If we ever in a loose gravel situation or losing traction anywhere, you can do that. Of course, we have air horns and traction control and an engine brake. Um, so you have, you have a lot of different setups up here. Power window, well, here, we'll lift that up for a minute. Power driver's window, you know, that's not something very many diesel pushers have. You generally have to get to almost $400,000 or, or more to get to that power window setup, so that's nice. Of course, you have power and heated mirrors over here as well. Nice cup holder, this is very, I, I would say this is very uh, ergonomically well designed. Um, adjustable pedals, smart wheel, uh, so all your um, controls for wiper blades um, and lighting and cruise control, um, that's all right here. Very easy to reach your uh, front 
uh, heating and air conditioning controls. They're right here. Um, I like that. It's not quite as far reach as going over here. And the stuff they did put over there, stuff I really don't need to uh, reach very often. Generators, a little bit of a reach, but not too bad. Something American Coach has always done that I love is they bring a lot of their cabinetry into the front cab area here. See the wood up in the front here. Most manufacturers, this is going to be plastic. I really like that they brought their beautiful wood up and some quarry on there with it. Also, their tile floor extends all the way up here. My feet sitting in the driver's seat are sitting on uh, the ceramic tile floor. They use what's called an avionics entry door. They've used that for years. The avionics entry door, um, when you drop this coach in gear and get ready to take off, it actually has an air activated couple of plungers in there that actually um, lock the door and, and, and kind of hold in on it. It's a neat little setup. It's, it's almost, uh, the way it works is, it's almost like somebody standing against the coach pushing in on the door while you're going down. It's actually being held in while you're going down the road, which is another nice uh, feature of American coach. Now uh, this particular setup we have the L-shaped sectional up front here and of course this will fold out to a bed underneath here. It's a little residential hide-a-bed. Straight across from this we have the Euro recliner with the ottoman and we have the nice Sony television there. Now before I get too far away I know everybody wants to see the storage in here so I'm going to go back up to the front here we're going to open some cabinets most of these aren't huge but there is a lot of small storage in here we'll start here in this corner up here this is going to be our AV corner so you see some wires up in there here's our uh, DVD player down here and there's plenty of room for a satellite receiver that type of option and then storage here here and here a little outlet up in that top right one too. Never know what you might want to plug in even if you just want to tuck your cell phone away in there uh, while it's charging you can do that. Then over here we're going to have some controls for the coach. We have our motorized antenna here, slide controls for the front two slides, um, our antenna boosters over here and then if I open these two cabinets here's the brains of the operation. Our tank sensors are here to tell us how full our, our holding tanks are. Generator control is right here. This does have auto generator start on it as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Thermostat for all three of our air conditioners uh, is, is right here. Uh, this little remote controls the Girard awnings. Yes, this does have Girard awnings on it, so that's, that's really nice. We'll get to that when we're on the outside. These guys, now you don't see those very often. It's called Gold Heat. Gold heat is our heated floor. So we have two zone heated floor in this coach as well. And this is a true electric heated floor. I know I've talked about that a lot of times like on our Dutch Stars um, and, and our new airs that it's a true heated floor. They don't just run a couple of plumbing lines um, with hot water through them through the floor. So you have hot spots um, and it, um, under all the tiles, it's actually heated in there. It's a true electric heat. It's a nice heated floor. Built-in surge protector, can't beat that. Um, this is our little over the door awning. Um, and then we have here, uh, this is window awnings up here. Um, and then uh, uh, we, we have some exterior lighting here and our inverter control here. So lots, like I said, this is the brains of the operation. So nice to, nice to get a good look at that. All right, let's move on. <coughs> Above this, uh, I apologize, I will be coughing. We're, we're probably not gonna edit that out. Um, getting over a little bit of a cold here so I'll try to keep it to a minimum. Good storage and that's all lined if you look in there that all has that ozite lining uh, in there that's so much nicer. Number one it just makes it quieter going down the road anything that's in these cabinets isn't going to be rattling. Of course it, when you get to this level of coach all the wood you see in here is actually solid wood it's not one of those situations where the doors are solid but this is a wrapped wood here. Ha! Huh? This is all real solid stained wood and it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous throughout the coach. Multiplex lighting. You'll see different ones of these throughout the uh, uh, coach, these little control panels here. And basically it allows you to turn on multiple rooms of lighting from different locations. You can stand at the front door, for instance, and there's an all lights button. So when you're coming in the coach at night, you hit the all lights button, all the ceiling lights come on and the coach is really well lit up. Makes you feel better walking into it. And also when you're leaving the coach, hey, you look and you left a light on, well, you hit the all lights button, it shuts them all down. So 
just it just makes life so much easier. Let's come back into the kitchen area here. Okay, check the pullout out. That's nice. Nice quarry on there. Let's take a look at our kitchen storage. That's adjustable, as is that shelf. 30 inch convection microwave. Now the previous owner on here did put in a beautiful, he's a woodworker and he does marvelous work. This matches the coach really, really well and I just love that piece of wood. He put that in here to go right over the two burner induction cooktop. Uh, this is an all electric coach and that just gave him more countertop space was the idea there. If you don't want to use it, you take it off. If you do, great, it's there. Let's take a look at some of our lower cabinetry here out on the end of the island here. We have our pull-out drawers, three of them. And of course, as always at this level, you're going to see full extension ball bearing drawer glides. Kitchen sink is a solid surface double sink, a little 60-40 sink there. You gently put these back in. Okay, nice residential faucet there. Nice little spot for the scrubbies. Now down there in the center you actually see the the racks, the vertical racks there. Those are actually for <coughs> excuse me. Those are actually for storing the um, uh, Corian uh, sink covers. All right. And that one does not open. Fooled me. We do have a dishwasher below it. So, fake drawer, it got me. All right, um, Whirlpool, all electric refrigerator with water and ice on the door. And then down below, we actually have the freezer, pull out freezer. Move over to the pantry. I love the way American Coach does this. This is a nice one, okay pull out the whole setup pulls out so whatever you have in the back of this is just as easy to get to as what you have in the front of it they made it very very nice because you know when you open just a cabinet door um, what you want is generally at the back at least that's the way it always is at my house so so six of those nice little drawers that pull all the way out right up here we have a stackable washer and dryer Now this is, the 42G is a bath and a half coach. So let's take a look at the half bath. Uh oh, somebody forgot to turn the lights on here. I'm gonna blame Tony. Okay. There we go. Good look at that. You do have a power vent fan that I think I just accidentally turned on. Nice part is it is power, so you just hit a button on the, on the wall and um, it kicks itself on. You don't have to reach up and touch the Fantastic Fan. I believe there's three Fantastic Fans in this coach, if I'm not mistaken. So that was the half bath. Come on back into the bedroom. We have a king size bed. On either side of the bed, you can see controls for the uh, multiplex lighting. On this side of the bed over here, um, you actually have your blind control as well. All of these blinds, both the day and the nightshade, they are power. So you just hit a button and you can make the whole bedroom dark or light your choice. Um, Ceiling fan, nice little touch there. It's nice when you have the height in here to be able to do ceiling fans. Okay, now over here we actually have three pull out drawers. There's our little uh, Blu ray player. The woodwork in here again, just beautiful. Second wardrobe on this side. Nice hanging space there, and then nine, count them, nine drawers. I'm not going to open them all, but that's what they look like. Come on back to the bedroom, very small, or to the bathroom rather, very small step up here. Okay, it's not, sometimes you get a pretty good size step there. That one's a very small one. Okay, now this is our full size bathroom in the back. Double hanging there. Look at the medicine cabinet. It's actually a nice size medicine cabinet. All right. And they did this again. I love that. All right. And then a good size shower with a seat, all one piece molded. 
Don't have to ever worry about that leaking skylight above. All right, so there's a little bit on the inside of our 42G. And again, the thing I want to stress here, this coach is in immaculate condition. This is a one owner coach, it was stored indoors. They did use it, it's got 55,000 miles on it. They, they definitely use the coach, but that's good. It's not good for equipment to sit. It's good for uh, equipment to have some miles put on it. Inside and outside, this coach is absolutely gorgeous. No funky smells, anything like that. You will not come to Indiana and be disappointed that you came to see this coach. Uh, this is really, really, really in nice condition. The wood's not all scarred up or anything like that. Just really nice coach. I'm gonna bring the slides in so I can show you what it looks like going down the road. Okay, as we started doing uh, many years ago, we, we like to get a shot of these coaches with the slides in. We kind of stumbled upon that one day and uh, you, our viewers, loved it, so uh, we, we aim to please. First and foremost, I think I forgot to mention, um, I know I mentioned my name, but don't forget to ask for me. Again, I'm Chris Anderson. You come in to see these coaches. This is how I make my living. Very short commercial here. Please ask for me. Moving on. Oh, like and subscribe our page. That helps us. Okay, moving on. If, as you come through here, you can see you have actually nice, nice area. I don't, I'm not even turning sideways. A little tight. I could, I could stand to lose a few donuts there, but um, nice, nice walkway here. Right at the dinette. This is a little snug, but again, not bad. This is plenty of room here. What do we really want to do? We want to get into the refrigerator. We want to be able to get to the bathroom going down the road. No issues. And that's what we really want. Now, if somebody wants to get back here and take a nap, it would be difficult, like on all bath and a half, so it would be difficult to get to that bathroom back there. But if you want to lay down and take a nap, the whole bed is available to you, the whole king bed. So knock yourself out there. You could even do laundry. Not sure too many people do laundry going down the road, but if that's what floats your boat. All right, let's take a look at the outside because there's some impressive things to see there. Okay, we're outside of our 2014 American coach. Got her all opened up and let's uh, let's take a little look around here. First thing I forgot to show you on the inside, look at this, get in tight, Tony. Nice little storage in here, whether you wanna keep dog leashes or treats in here, little flashlight, umbrella, I can think of all kinds of things to keep right inside the door in my step. Those are beautiful Corian. Of course, this is a power step well. So nice little feature. I realized when I came out, I forgot to show that. And you get a doggy window. All right, obviously we're in a big boy coach here. You get aluminum wheels on it. You would certainly expect that. Um, also tire pressure monitoring is included on this coach as well. Tires are in great shape. Now there are two slide trays on this coach. Both of them full pass through trays that will come out either side. Um, he did leave the extra little components. He's got a spare set of wiper blades here as well. Obviously those aren't gonna help him on his new coach. Um, another little box that he built right here. Take a look at this. This pulls out. I believe he had a grill on this if memory serves. So he left it here. Again, it matches all the woodwork on the coach. This wasn't a factory option, but it's a very well done customer add-on. And he, he, he is quite the woodworker. So nice feature there. And I love the locking system. Genius. All right. Central vac is included in this coach. I think I forgot to mention this as well. Um, you have dual fuel fill. That's what's right here next to us. So you can fill this coach from either side. This is an all electric coach. So you do have eight house batteries there. They are in very good shape as well. One of the things that's funny about American coaches, they really went all out with the disconnects. Um, most coaches have like an internal disconnect and an external disconnect. So one for the house side, one for the chassis side. Um, they've got lots of disconnects on here, which is better, um, honestly, to be able to, uh, uh, when you put your coach down into storage, to be able to completely disconnect it from the batteries. And, and uh, if you can't plug it in, that way you don't come back to dead batteries. So you have three here and we've got two in back. We'll get to those, but you have our aux battery, uh, our house, if you will, um, disconnect. We have our inverter disconnect and a slide out disconnect right there. So this compartment um, behind here is gonna be water tanks, but you can't really see that. But they put the electronics out here. This has our uh, built-in surge protector. Our inverter is right here as well. That's a 2800 watt inverter. Some of our chassis fuses are in here. <coughs> Excuse me. American Coach does a nice job with their doors too. These are all aircraft aluminum. They shut very nicely, fit very well. Um, easy slam, side, side swing doors. So uh, I, I do like that about them. 
We move back another compartment. We're gonna get in here. This is where we fill our DEF. This is also our chassis batteries, two more disconnects right down here. And one of the things that American Coach always prided themselves on was making their filters and everything very easy to get to. You don't have to get to them from underneath, they're right here in the compartment. That's again, that's very well done. This is a, a side radiator coach rather. So when you get back here to the engine compartment, you actually have good accessibility into here to be able, if you needed to change a belt or anything, you could easily get into here. That is a 15,000 pound hitch and it is rated to tow 15,000 pounds. Uh, I say that because there's some trickery going on in the RV world these days where manufacturers are putting heavier duty hitches on them than what the chassis is actually rated to pull. So something I always take a look at is, you know, okay, they put a 15,000 pound hitch on it. Will it, is it rated to pull 15,000 pounds? Absolutely it is. So moving on, here's our side radiator. This is just our fresh water fill up here, but there's our side radiator down below. Obviously, we're on a tag axle coach. <coughs> I mentioned earlier in the front uh, control cabinet that the window awnings were power. That was uh, a mistake on my part. Uh, that was just a secondary control for the Girard awnings. Your window awnings are manual, so it does have them. It's got a little strap up there at the very top in the middle, and you just pull that out and hook it on this cleat right here. It literally takes five seconds per window to pull out those, so those are manual. All right, let's get into our wet bay. Obviously, this is a heated bay. This is where all the, all the business happens from dumping the tanks um, to hooking up your water to your whole house water filtration system. We do have the ability to, to uh, um, wash off out here after we're done. Um, they put a tank monitor out here so we can see how full our tanks are as we're dumping. That's a nice feature as well. Um, power hose reel, that's right over here nice uh there and and everything is very well labeled it's very clean it's very well labeled we did not clean this coach when it came in this is how it came to us they, they just took very 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 good care of it i mentioned earlier this is an or this is an all electric coach well to do that you need some sort of hydronic heating in this case they use the aqua hot 450d system so the nice part about aqua hot obviously it works off of diesel fuel or electric either one uh and, and that's nice because we're not in need of any propane and you have a lot more diesel fuel than you could ever have propane uh, but but secondly it's just unlimited hot water so this is our primary heating system on the coach although you could heat it with the heat pumps you could heat it with the heated floor if it's above 40 50 degrees okay um, but you, but if it gets below that you're gonna need some serious heat that would be your your primary heater number one number two and it's also unlimited hot water so if you want to take a nice long shower you can take a nice long shower with this your power cord reel your 50 amp power cord reel is in here as well we mentioned filling fuel from either side there's the there's the driver's side fuel fill <coughs> our trays are out the other side right now they would come out this side this is just all storage and it's a substantial amount of it we come up front, our generator's running right now. It's just so darn quiet. This is uh, some chassis electronics in here. And then right here, we have a little button. This actually runs our slide out, out for our generator. Now, most coaches don't have a pullout generator, number one. Certainly most coaches don't have an electric pullout generator. That's a pretty sharp feature. Now, American Coach has been around since the, the mid-90s. The early American Eagles didn't even have slide rooms on them. That's how long they've been around. Um, one of the things, when I started in this industry, I was working for a dealership that sold American Coach. So that's why I have a little bit of familiarity with this. One of the things they used to do back, oh, I don't know, 05, 06, when I was doing this, is the rep would always run this generator out, and then he'd jump up on top of it and jump up and down on the generator to show how strong the generator slide tray is. I don't look that athletic, do I? Okay, um, no, I'm not jumping up and down. On, but understand, that's how they do it. And the other pitch was you you could actually stand up there and clean your windshield. So um, nice features uh, there. It is a 10,000 Onan, Onan diesel generator. It purrs like a kitten, so you're in great shape. So that's a little bit about the outside of our coach. Now what we haven't done is, is we haven't given you a very good image of this coach with all the slides in. So you can see it's, it's actually a gorgeous paint job. So why don't we close it all up, get you a few shots so that uh, you can see exactly what this coach looks like going down the road. 
Okay, I always like to get people a good shot because they do such marvelous paint jobs on so many of these high-end diesels today. American Coach is certainly no exception to that. Just walk around this with Tony here. I don't need to be in this shot and enjoy what is a truly beautiful paint job. I also like it because it's not your typical browns. You know, you have some taupe colors in there, you have a nice blue in there, a little bit of a silver. It's a good looking coach. And then, the other thing we can do is show you the Gerard awnings while we're over here. Nice part about Gerard awnings, number one, they're molded up into the top cap. They're not bolted onto the side of the coach. So they just look better when you're going down the road. But number two, it's the whole side of your coach is awning. And, and that's really something that you don't normally get. You, know, you usually get a 12, 14, maybe even a 16 foot awning. And this is where we spend our time. By the way, as you can see, these are the Nova style awnings. So they're coming out and bending in the middle to just increase how much shade you have. So my awning starts here. I took 13 regular steps underneath the awning. I mean, that's, that's a lot of awning space here. So this is where we spend our time, obviously, in the campground or in the resort. This is where your friends and family will gather and they're gonna be under a nice shaded awning. Of course, that does have a motion sensor on it. If the wind gets too much for it, it will bring it back in. You never wanna count on motion sensors and wind sensors as the end all be all. Um, you know, a little bit of common sense goes a long way with awnings and wind. Understand no matter how good of an awning it is, the wind will flat take it off for you if you uh, uh, get in a windy condition with your awning. So awnings are for nice days like today. Folks, that's about it. If you like this coach, please give me a call. Let's talk about it. We do take trade-ins as well. I'd love to hear from you. My name is Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV. Thanks for watching.